Over the years, I've seen several of the jays I know take down a wasp nest that is at the beginning stages. They are normally very small and only contain a queen and some larvae. It's like a delicacy to blue jays. The best video I ever recorded was when Blue tore down one in summer 2016. He ate all of the larvae and eventually the queen. I guess she didn't stand a chance. Another time, in 2018, I saw Snowy and her mate puncture a hole in one. They took the comb that the larvae are in. Last summer was the most recent time I saw this behavior from a blue jay, Hermoso. He took one apart. You can see the comb where the larvae reside in his bill. I always assumed that blue jays would only mess with a small wasp nest that only has a queen because, well, there's no army to worry about. I couldn't imagine them messing with a wasp nest of this size. Recently, however, I witnessed something that took me completely by surprise. It was with the fledgling blue jays that have been on their own now for a week or two. They've been hanging around in a nearby woods, so I visit them often. I noticed them picking around on an old abandoned car. Like, that car must have been there since the 70s. I thought it was interesting, so I started recording video. Then I noticed they were catching flying insects, which turned out to be wasps. The two little guys were just catching them in their bill. Upon further inspection, I realized there was a wasp nest inside the car and the fledglings certainly caused an upset by the look of the amount of wasps flying around outside. The fledgling jay was picking with its bill at the hole they were coming in and out of. I was a little amazed that they didn't seem to be getting stung, but I suppose that their thick cover of feathers and down must provide some protection. Not bulletproof, but maybe enough protection for a short period. Up until now, I had never seen any blue jays mess with an active nest like this, let alone fledgling blue jays. I do think, though, that for the most part, they would prefer to stay away from larger nests. And I'm certain that wasps can sting them, especially since I tried getting them to do this again by placing a few peanuts nearby to the nest in the hopes of drawing their attention to it, but no one seemed interested and one little guy flew off when a wasp came around, so I didn't bother and let it be. Maybe it's only baby blue jays who would dare to do something like this. A learning thing, you know? Perhaps I will never see it again. Nonetheless, I still think it was pretty cool behavior to share with you guys. Also, even though it was obviously a much larger nest than I've witnessed some of the adults tackling before, I still don't think any jay would be stupid enough to take on one of this size. What do you think? Were the fledglings being typical youngsters that lack knowledge of potentially dangerous encounters? Or were they being the typically smart and crafty birds jays are? I'm curious too if anyone has ever seen jays or other birds tackling a wasp nest before. Comment below and let me know. And as always, thanks a lot for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Before I go, I would just like to direct your attention over to another YouTube birding channel, Badgerland Birding. They are relatively new and have some great videos. Recently, I collaborated with them for this video, Top 5 Feeder Birds of Eastern North America, where I helped narrate some of the video. It's kind of half and half. They did some and I did some. Anyway, the video is up on the screen there now for those interested, and I will also provide a link to it down in the comments pinned at the top. Thanks a bunch. Take care. Happy birding.